Well, welcome to the review there, uh, Vern, my uh, trusty fellow associate and uh, researcher at Noel's World of Whiskey, and of course, uh, my master taster here, Sparky. Uh, Sparky, you've been into it a little bit early, I see. I hope you're in good enough shape for the review. To skip the history, just jump ahead to the review. Well, we're going to locate the Elberfeldy Distillery, of course, the one that John Dewars built back in uh, 1896. I believe it opened in 1898. And uh, let's blow it up here. And in the community of Elberfeldy, and uh, close to the River Tay, here it is, Elberfeldy Distillery. Well, welcome to Noel's World of Whiskey. And we're going to finish off the trilogy that we have uh, been working on here. Aberfeldy, and I have this triple pack that I purchased a couple of years ago. And we've done the 16, we've done the 21. Uh, by the way, I have done no Aberfeldys prior to doing these reviews. So this has been an eye-opener for me. Uh, I, you see Aberfeldy all the time. <laughs> and you, you, you don't drink it, it's strange. It's been around me for years and yet I've never, I've never drank it. So uh, this, is the, this, this is the trilogy. So I am pouring myself the 12 now. I've done the 16, I've done the 21. So now we're gonna do the 12. And uh, these cute little bottles, I love them. And I gave enough space between each bottle so that they can be appreciated for what they are. So we will uh, start off with the nose. Very interesting nose. Different than the uh, 16, different than the 21. It's got a... I hate to say what it is. It's a... Um, and I, you know, you, you, you get these, you get these uh, notes and right off the bat, I was going to say something that would have turned you off, but I'm not gonna, I'm going to say it's something else. And I just, it was just a first impact, but, um, it's, it's a good nose. Don't. Don't 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 get me wrong. I I just had a flash there when I first sniffed it, and it was uh, yeah. So um, not as strong a nose as the um, as the sixteen. Definitely not as strong as the twenty one. But it's it's got uh, some uh, citrus notes with uh, with some sweetness. Apples. Um, a little bit of dried fruit with those apples. Um, we, I think it was the oak. I think it was the oak that I was smelling. Yeah, I think it was the oak. What it, what it was, 
We have a wood called hemlock, and it's got an incredibly musky, powerful smell to it. And um, it it has a slight smell, almost like vomit, you know, it, it very slight smell like that. And you get smell. Everybody gets these 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 smells, and uh, it, it 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 it's it's typical of when you're around hemlock, you will get just this flash of that smell, and then it has that heavy musk smell. I think that's what I got, but I'm not knocking the drink. I mean, this isn't slamming the drink, believe you me. But just a flash. But it's 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 all good. We're getting the apples again. We're getting. Uh, some uh, some raisin notes, sweetness, and your your typical uh, baking spices. Uh, I'm gonna say cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, and um, it's got you know with the apple, there's melon or something similar, apple, melon, and something that I have had before. Um, cantaloupe, not real sweet cantaloupe though. Wow, yeah, anyways, uh, let's give it the palate <clears throat> so much. This is something to introduce to somebody that is not a scotch drinker. They will like this. This is an easy drinker. That's the best way to describe it, a very easy drinker. Right off the bat, butter. Butter and with apple in the background and then a little bit of maybe uh, baked apple, maybe some baked apple pie, buttery baked apple pie, butter on top of baked apple pie. Um, it's got a little bit of, just a wee bit of cinnamon, a bit of ginger, maybe typical of your your apple crumble, your 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 apple crisp, you know, that that presentation. Little cloves, little nutmeg, just the same as the nose, yeah. I don't know why I haven't drank this in all these years, this is bizarre. Don't know why, but um, this is a unique drink, and I understand why doers use it as a as a key component or a key part of their uh, their blends. Um, this is as though I've added water to it. By the way, 40 ABV on this is different than the 40 ABV in the 16 or the 40 ABV. BV in the uh, 21. This is one of the smoothest 12s that you're going to drink and for those that don't like scotch I think this is what you do. You, you give them a taste of an Aberfeldy 12. Um, it, there's nothing here that's offensive. Um, is it complex? No. Is there a lot of layers? No. <laughs> but, Sometimes, especially at this late hour, this is an easy one for me to review. So, uh, not much finish. It's quick. It's. I'm not comparing this to, uh, you know, to to uh, a, a spring bank, um, or 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 maybe a you know, a, a Kilcarran or something like that, you know. Uh, even a Anuk, you know. Uh, I, I'm going to say this is a Aberfeldy and it, and it is designed to be an easy drinker. 
it's not tackling you, it's not something you're going to explore for, you know, for the next 10 minutes. Um, this is something where you carry a conversation with someone and you just kind of, it goes down, you know, it just goes down. So. A little bit of oak, uh, some baking spices. Uh, back to the cloves, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the apple crisp, very buttery. Um, it actually, you know, kind of wakes up the palate, eh? I'm going to do the finish. There's not going to be, this is maybe just an excuse to have another sip, I don't know, but the finish is pretty much already happened. Um, but this is, maybe this one's for me and the finish. So the finish is a, a, literally a duplicate of the palette. There's, there's nothing different. I mentioned a little bit of oak. Uh, there's a little saltiness to it. But it's the apple crisp, the apple, uh, the apple crumble, the buttery notes, the apples. Yeah. And it is not a long finish. It's very short. Um, it's a nice drink. If I was not in the mood for scotch, I could be in the mood for this, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to give this an 82. Uh, this is not, a, for a 40 ABV, this is, this is not a bad drink. Um, it's, Aberfeldy has a place. It has a place. It belongs in the industry. It, 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 it has a, a trademark. Uh, I think it has a trademark identity uh, as being a, a sweet honey uh, dram. It, it, I, I think from the, from the uh, 12 to the 16 to the 21, that's what I can say about it. It's got a lot of honey to it. There's a lot of sweetness. There's a lot of fruit. It is pleasant. It doesn't kick your ass. It basically gives you, it works with you, and it gives you uh, just a kind of a cozy, fuzzy feeling. There you are. So that's my review. Um, I'm going to give it an 82. And um, I'm going to ask you to drink intelligently, wisely and intelligently, and do not drink and drive. And until the next time, it's lunch.